Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to I Expect You to Die, right? This is a VR game, it's kind of like a uh, escape room puzzle type deal thing, right? And I thought this would be a nice way to introduce my channel to VR. I mean, I already did introduce my channel to VR with other videos, but this is the... You know, kind of first time we're doing like a, uh, I would say a true VR game. I mean, VR chat was one, but still, it, that was more of the like, of a highlight reel. Anyways. Ah, uh, yes. Isn't modern technology something? I just want to make sure that this is getting. Test, test. One, two, three. Test, test. One, two, three. Do you copy? Equipment calibration is crucial for success in the field. Okay, that's a little bit loud in the recording options, so I'm going to take that and just put it down a smidget. That should be fine. That should be fine. I hope so. I hope it's not too quiet. All right, what do we got? Object trans... Object translate. What the fuck do you mean by that? What, what does that do? Oh, that's what it means. Yeah, no. I mean, that's pretty cool, but we're not going to do that. Subtitles is great. English. Italian. Deutschland. Right? One of these is Korean. The other one is Japanese. The other one is Mandarin. I think this is Chinese, right? Speak to me. Not. You did well on the linguistics test, correct? Nope, I didn't. Yes, All right. Dad. Yet. All right. Let's stop fucking around and get into it. Oh shit. <laughs> We're playing a game you take from me, I take from you. I have a feeling if I listen to this song like without saying anything, I'm gonna get copyright. Right? I thought that said producer Phil Collins. I was like, what the fuck? I wish I had hands in this. Right? This is a pretty cool intro sequence. I like this. I'm a piece on the board, but you put me in the queen spot, not the queen, the king. I'm the king. Oh shit. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I mean, what, like, what do I say, right? I don't want to talk over it, but <laughs> it was pretty cool. So, welcome to the enhanced operative division. 
I am your assigned handler and support agent. We're going to be fast friends, I have no doubt. You, you expect me to die? You to use I expect you to die. Abilities ...to manipulate the world around you. Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. Fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Try leaning left. Try leaning left? You mean like this? Sometimes our agents need to lean both directions. <gasps> now that we're finished with calisthenics, let's move on to dex. You found the trigger button. I did. Fully extending that same index finger is what we call. I'm still holding this lighter, by Very the way. Very useful for pressing buttons. Turn your head to the left. Try pressing one of the buttons on the radio there. Alright, so... Wait, hold up. Your ability to press buttons with your index finger is beyond reproach, Agent. But what about your ability to press the grip button beneath your middle finger? The naming division of the agency. All right, what, what do you want me to do? Grip button? It seems you have a grip on those controls. I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up using the grip or trigger button. I'm trying to. There we go. Have a good hold of it. Alrighty, advanced agent module. Back to headquarters. If you don't pick up my note, Hold the you left thumbstick to return to headquarters. Okay, Use gotcha. Your middle finger oh. for the grip button or index finger for the trigger button. That's uh that's burning now. Alright. Welcome, Agent. Things are not always as they seem. Good. Excellent. Let's practice aiming Telekinesis implant. telekinetic powers. Push forward on the thumbstick. It's below your thumb. The circle that appears is where you're aiming. If Which thumbstick? Blue, the right one? You can this is the right the thumbstick. Gotcha. So, the grip button. Pick up the push forward. We just sent you through the door. Got it. You're a natural. While still holding the target with the grip button, let go of the thumbstick and use your thumb to press the A button. That's the button closer to you. The target will hover in the air. I Try expect you to die. Over the fake plant to your left. <laughs> What's that, uh, what's the name of the dude from fucking, uh, Princess Bride, right? Well, holding the target with the oh, why can't I remember his name? He says it like fucking 50 times. To your left. I am something, 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 something. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, I can't remember his name, and I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> That's like the one thing you should remember from the Princess Bride, right? But anyways... I got, my, my thought got cut off because, you know, VR. So, first of all, I have my air conditioner on, and I'm using the uh, Oculus um, microphone to record audio. So, if you hear the air conditioner, I apologize. I'm trying to get better with recording VR in general. Also, I'm supposed to play this game sitting down. I'm not doing that. I'm standing up because it'll be nice to, like, actually, you know, drop something and just go, oh, my bad, Don't just drop it. and pick it up. It with a you know, because sometimes I'll probably forget that I have this. Right? And also, I actually played this game on the PlayStation VR, but I never finished it. So there are some puzzles in this game that I might know the answer to, and some that I just don't remember whatsoever. So let me do myself a favor real quick and tighten up my headset. Try not to make it too tight because that's how you get the marks under your eyes, and you don't want that. But I expect you to die, right? I think this would be a nice, um, well, holding the target with the grip button, a nice introduction. A well, a nice introduction to like to your left. full VR game bullshit, right? Because we did Psychonauts: Rhombus of Ruin. Well done. I wish we could afford. And then, you know, I did the two videos with VR chat. One was like a movie review, and the other one was just like kind of a highlight video on like what I, you know, what VR chat is like for me, right? And now we are getting into the meat of things with playing some actual VR games. I mean, there's games inside VR chat, but for the most part, you use it as a social platform. 
bridge. Only one target. I missed. Will you I missed. Pass this I missed. Test? I fuck. You've passed the test. You damn right I did. I'm trying to flip it. I'm trying to flip the gun. But I can't do it. Navigating the various desks Did I grab it? Encounter on your dangerous missions. Grab the top drawer handle to your right with the grip button and open it. it can Isn't there supposed to be like a cigar in here or something? You may want to read later. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm playing on Steam VR. I'm using the uh, Oculus Quest 2. I refuse to call it meta. Facebook can meta these nuts in their mouth for all I care. To grab it and then just move your hand. Language settings. Don't need that. Well, Spy testing. Drawer, really. What do you want me to do? Oh, you want me to open the drawer? Gotcha. Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide reel from the projector after you retrieve your. Advanced agent module. Hold the right thumbstick to calibrate headset. Hmm, okay, I'll remember that. To unlock the training slides, grab your first mission from the door. Opening credit. Wait, from the. Oh, from the door. Gotcha. Also, I really hope that the game is loud enough for you guys, because if it's not, I'm going to be very upset with myself. That also reminds me, I should increase the volume on my own headset, because that's actually pretty low right now. Alright, Operation Friendly Skies. Don't need none of that bullshit. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes. And cars in airplanes. I like trains. Dr. Zor, what about trains? Billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. Zanzibar land. Oh shit, that's not good. Before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. Don't worry, Handler, you sent the right guy to do the job. I've worked with the best of them. I'm the best spy. I worked with 007, Solid Snake, the Spy Kids, Agent Oso. What you know about Agent Oso? Let's start this shit. Let's start. There we go. Ooh, a gun. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the <laughs> I had to. All right. Keep that on standby. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. How to arm your bomb. One, two, three. Okay, do you just do it in reverse then? To disarm it? Uh, what am I doing? Got a key. All right. R. Kelly's ignition, baby. Intruder detected. Present eye for retina scan. Scan failed. Targeting. Oh. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. Ah, uh, shit. Plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? Okay. Uh. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? Or we can just focus on. This motherfucker has what? What is this? Zorg bucks? <laughs> Bison dollars? What the hell? <laughs> you gave me bison dollars. These are useless. Okay, so getting out the car. There's a screwdriver over there. Yeah. Oh, I had a heart attack because I, I stepped back. And for some reason, I thought the car was moving for a moment. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, utility cannon. Reset system. Okay, um. 
Can I like, oh, I can lift that up. Okay, well, I'm gonna, can I lift this up? No. I have the, I have dynamite in here. I'm gonna put that over here, away from me. Get a knife, close that up. Ooh, 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 don't mind if I do, ah. Achievement sound. A little early to celebrate, don't you think? Shut the fuck up. Who's the spy here, you bitch? If you know so much, why the hell did you hire me? Ooh. 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 Fuck that. Get out of the hatch, goats! Mmm. Delicious. Don't spill it now. You're gonna be my best friend. All right. What is this? Smoke gas? Yeah, you can stay right there. <laughs> uh, anything else in here? That's nothing. Another glass. Okay, let's just close that up. Put you over here. So we got some buttons, right? We're in... We're in park. Um... Alright. There was gas out there. Not good. So now we have the screwdriver. <laughs> no, no secret death traps or anything? I'm gonna... Go over there. Master reset. Okay, that's the reset button. online okay weapons online then I then I press the top button over here I'm actually curious what does this do what does this button do deploying scorpions oh where where are they where where are they you can't be saying that can't be talking about bringing scorpions out and shit and oh shit there he is fuck that guy why is the seat back did i do that okay that was scorpions let's keep this on standby and what about this next message Zor, there is an urgent matter we must discuss contact me on a secure line immediately Next message. Uh, yes, Dr. Zor. So glad to finally have reached you. You owe the Carnegie Library some one million dollars for a book you haven't returned since 1952. It is a copy of the Confederacy of Dunces, and we would very much like it returned. Do return the call. We'll speak to you shortly. Thank you. Evil librarian. Okay. That's interesting. Let me just tighten up my headset a little bit more because I don't wanna I don't want it. Yeah, whatever. What else we got? Next message. We uh, may have an issue with Operation Toxic Rain. I'll keep you posted. Well, keep me posted. Next message. Hi, Dr. Zor. I got your voice message. It said, regarding the poison, my command is in jest. Now, is that in jest with a J or with a G? Oh, shit. It's, it's kind of a big difference. Um, please, please get back to me. <laughs> he says, so you, you want me to drink the poison? Next message. Miss Lincoln has decided to cooperate. 
Operation Toxic Rain is back on schedule. I've never heard any of these messages before. I'm actually really intrigued. Next message. Um, hey, Dr. Soar. Uh, hi, how you doing? Um, Agent 13 here. I was just wondering uh, about the hazard pay on that last mission. Uh, I was told that it was going to be 15% ahead of salary, and I noticed that on my, uh, on my, my check, uh, I only got 10%. I know that I should just generally take this payroll, but seeing as how we work so closely together, and I took that Zeta raise for you, I was wondering maybe we could cash this out. Okay, well, anyway, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to your call. Okay, thanks. Bye. I took that Zeta raise for you. Next message. Hello, yes, my agent told me to get in touch about my audition yesterday. Uh, this is Tiffany, by the way. Um, I hope that it went well. Of course, I'm very excited for the opportunity. Um, please tell me that I did okay. Um, in any case, I really wanted to see how you were. I hear that there are certain things that might happen if I don't succeed at this uh, job that I just auditioned for. So please, please let me know. Uh, I will be available pretty much 24-7. Uh, I will be awake. So I will talk to you later. Um, please don't hate me. Okay, bye! Oh shit, what the fuck did you audition for? Next message. Hey yo, Dr. Zor. Yeah, this is your buddy from the 220. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Hey, don't you forget, I still need that money you owe me. You know, you became all rich and powerful. Don't you think you can get away with taking my money? So, I'll be waiting for it. You know where you can find me. Don't you think I forgot? What the fuck is up with this guy? <laughs> this, uh... Dr. Zor, you fucking... You got a lot of messages, dude. Hello, Dr. Zor. This is Jimmy Fung. Hi, Jimmy. I am told that you are looking to enlist the services of a mechanic. El Mechanico? I yes. I am a mechanic. That is to say, I fix things. You may find my services desirable. My terms are simple. 15,000 in advance. 15,000 upon... Okay, company. so you're a hitman. Also, I will need you to inspect a mole. What? Healthcare is difficult to come by in my profession. <laughs> I'm the only evil doctor I know. Thank you. I look forward to doing business. Alright, that's shady as fuck. Oh, what's in here, by the way? Auto deploy parachute included. Okay. Nice to know. Next message. Hello, buenas. Mensaje para el doctor Sor, de parte de la guardería de gatos y niño mimado para confirmar su cita a 4 de la tarde. No se culpa de la señora Andrés Bella en Caracas. Le queremos pedir al doctor que, si es tan amable, por favor, se asegure que Chifa no venga cargado con ningún dispositivo letal esta vez. Todavía estamos lidiando con la compañía de seguros por el incidente del mes pasado. Gracias, doctor. 4 de la tarde, Andrés Bello, Caracas. Gracias. I don't know what that guy said. <laughs> he was asking for something. Uh, he said, call me back. Um, I, I don't know. I don't speak Spanish, but that was, that was, you know, that wasn't phony Spanish. That was Next real message. Spanish. Uh, yeah, Dr. Zor, this is uh, Alan over at the A&K Freight again. And, uh, you know, we still got that uh, crate labeled uh, uh, Death Engine sitting over here. And uh, <laughs> you've got five days to, to pick it up or we're going to move it in unclaimed and uh, sell it. So uh, give me a call. You got the number. Bye. Oh, my God. How many fucking people do are you, like, ghosting, dude? Next message. Hello. I'm calling on behalf of Good Charities to personally invite you, as CEO of the directors, to our upcoming charity ball. This is our most heartfelt, personal invitation, because while we have received complaints about your behavior at some of our past events, we also recognize that there would be certain repercussions should we not invite you. But we would also like to extend our most heartfelt discouragement at actually the oh shit! <laughs> you, you are invited. Goodbye. She said, "Listen, you're invited. We won't. We don't want to get hurt, but uh, <laughs> but don't come." 
Oh, is that is that it? Next message. Hello, Zor. This is Dr. Monsanto Vesuvius. I have Vesuvius. I know what you did to my dolphins, and it's not funny. What the fuck? I will get you. Oh, don't tell Jotaro about the dolphins now. He'll be angry. Next message. Hi, I'm looking for uh, Dr. Zor. Um, I'm sure you've been missing your tiger shark spot, and uh, we found him in our uh, girls' high school swimming pool. Um, he's about, so oh, I don't know, uh, 15 feet long, has a freaking laser strapped to his head, and um, the tag says he belongs to you. So um, please give me a call at 412-555-2121 to um, pick him up. Um, we'd like to get rid of him as soon as possible. He's already eaten one of our girls. And oh, God. I think you might have to pay for that. Right. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> Next message. Dr. Zor, this is Peggy from Mike T's Exotic Pet Center. We're calling you to let you know that your electric eels have arrived, so you can pick those up at any time. But the giant squid won't be in until next week. Okay? Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks, Peggy. You're a dear. Next message. Dr. Zor. I'm Braille. Hi, Braille. Meet me at Doc 14 at I have the code for Zoraxus Q85. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> I don't trust you. Um, how many fucking messages do they have? Like, I didn't really mean to sit here and listen to all these. I'm actually really intrigued. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, Dr. Zor. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Dr. Zor. One more year, have no fear. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, Dr. Zor. Yay, it's not my birthday, it's Zor's birthday, but hey, that's nice. Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Zor. Uh, uh, this is Thaddeus Bumblesmash, a uh, steampunk adventurer. Uh, I'm just calling you after our last epic battle uh, 80 years ago, or perhaps five minutes ago, I'm not sure. The time machine's a little bit wonky. Uh, I had dropped the $20 out of my pocket, and I believe one of you... Uh, uh, your clones or henchmen uh, picked it up, and I would really appreciate it if at some point you could get that back to me, uh, depending on where in time you are. You could leave it at the safety deposit box at First National Bank. Uh, hopefully you don't then steal your future self, doesn't then rob the bank, and then uh, steal it back. Anyway, uh, call me back. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. Bye. What the fuck? He's an evil. Twenty dollars, my guy. Next message. You got a fucking time machine. Just go back and tell yourself not to drop it. This is Audrey from down the hall. Some of your mail ended up in my box again. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Audrey. You're such a doll. Next message. Dr. What's up, Brick Bracket? <laughs> that was so <laughs> say hi to Becky oh man that that has to be my favorite next message hey you know me it's your conscience calling I'm calling to remind you of what your support group said keep your world domination plans fair and balanced Fair and balanced, just like if you're going to take over England, you got to conquer New England, too, you know? Fair, balanced. Same thing for New Zealand. you got to get rid of Old Zealand, too. Oh, you shit. You get the picture, right? You yeah. know me, buddy. I'm your evil conscience. I wouldn't lie to you. See you, support group. See ya, buddy. Next message. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Zor. This is oh, my God. How many? Uh, general manager of the Seven Seasons Hotel, and I, I just wanted to take the opportunity to apologize personally to you for the fiasco last night. Um, our, uh, uh, our staff was not prepared uh, for your arrival, and certainly, uh, as you point out, reservations are not necessary for a man of your uh, social status. Totally reasonable. Uh, just a little mistake on that part from our staff. Uh, for that, I apologize. And uh, um, as you know, those staff are no longer working um, anywhere. Um, please oh, don't God. Don't worry. Uh, yourself the cost repairs or decoration uh, i'm sure our insurance can handle that so don't trouble yourself over it um there's uh, certainly no reason to send over any associates uh, we'll make sure that everything is is properly repaired and rebuilt uh, in accordance with your um 
your notes from the other day. Um, uh, please know that you're always welcome at the Seven Seasons, and, and we would uh, be happy to host you and your guests at any time. Uh, gratis, naturally. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. Woo! All right, they're all dead. <laughs> Next message. Hi, Dr. Zor. Hi, Trixie. I'm from Future Villain Youth Scouts. Oh, my and God. I'm calling to let you know we're running an evilicious one day special on aged almond cookies. Only 15 calories and 27 grams of cyanide per serving. I'm sure you're going to love these. Call me back. It's Trixie. Cyanide cookies? Call me back, Mr. Zor. It's Trixie. Next message. Zoro, what is up? I What's up, bro? I've seen you tap for happy hour tonight at Mahanigan's. Half price wings and bomb shots. We'll get gassed. Nah. All right, monster out. That monster's pretty cool. Next message. Uh, yes, Dr. Zor. So glad to finally have reached you. You owe the Carnegie Library some one million Okay, so it's just repeating now. All right, cool. Wow. Since 1952, all right, all right, you can you can be quiet now. <laughs> now what is it? What the hell was I doing? Press the button. Yes. Okay. Press the button. Um, put, put gas in there? Okay. You sure to put gas in there? I mean, I'm in the car, so the gas shouldn't really hurt unless there's like some sort of chemical reaction. Some smoke gas. Fire away. Okay, um, fuck it, let's try the dynamite. Let's go! A bit unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. Sure thing, how do I... Oh, it's in, it's in, okay, hold up. We're in drive now. Deployed. Yeah, it took me twenty minutes. Took me twenty minutes. Another successful mission. Now, about that vacation, I'm afraid I lied about that, but I believe hard work is its own reward, don't you? Those fucking messages were their rewards. Twenty minutes, really? Oh my god, I spent twenty minutes listening to fucking messages. I'm a chef, chef, chef.